Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my decision. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 
Able to check that kick as well. Plus right hand is true. Liver kick. Nice punch lands over the top. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lunges forward with a left air. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful body kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Cable of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, flipped him with the jab. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Well, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, second round underway. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Nice kicks there by Lee. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Beautiful leg kick throw. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh, beautiful takedown lane. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Volkan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue. 
to rain down the opponent. Better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty for this position. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Under three minutes remain in round three. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Under two minutes now to go. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Just missed with that right hand. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Come on, push through it. 15 seconds. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down to the strike that was really damaging his opponent. 
Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. It's okay. Keep going. Checks that leg kick. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Blocks the shot. Leg kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Nice punch, man. What a tricky head kiss. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike. Oh, beautiful entry as he secures the double leg take -tick. 90 seconds remain in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Twenty seconds left. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count this way. Big Paul Crunch land. Now we get back to range. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. What a punch. Back and forth we go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice right hand. 
That punch, no good. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Nice body kick right on the heel. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Beautiful strike. Oh! Just missed on that spinning attack. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Big power shot there. Final 10 seconds of the fight. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and intention.